You know, we should yeah. never feel bad when we have to deal with something over and over. Mm. Yeah. I mm. took on the project of writing a book on Proverbs this year. And uh, the thing that I came away from that with so impressed by was how repetitive it is. Mm. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it is okay. amazing how how yeah. how many times mm-hmm. it says the same mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. over and over mm-hmm. and over, mm-hmm. and that was really refreshing to me. That yeah, that's good. It, it's okay. First of all, as a teacher, it's okay to tell people the same things over and over and over. That's right. I used to feel pressured by feeling like I always needed a new word, but God taught me no, you just need a now word. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it can be that's the, good. Can that's be the same good. message yeah, you've taught on the mind <laughs> yeah. that's right. over and over, but that's if right. it's what people need to hear now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it is a process, mm-hmm. and it does go on for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, just yesterday I did something really dumb that I would <laughs> preach and tell people not to do. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. as soon as I got up this morning, the devil tried to accuse me, and I'm so mm-hmm. glad that I know that I have authority over him. It's like, nope. I'm not wasting my morning on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've repented. That's gone. There you go. And wow. so there's no shame in not having arrived. Right. Mm-hmm. Even the Apostle Paul said, I've not arrived, but right. I press That's right. Forward. toward that mark. Yeah. That's right. But if we talk about unpacking our bags God's way, the first thing that has to be done it, it has to be handled. It has to be handled thoroughly, and that is you have to forgive the people that hurt you. Yeah. Mm, so good. If you're not going to do that, Ooh. you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah. Get any you know, I remember um, years ago something happened. Um, I, I'm talking 30 years ago. Mm. Something happened uh, to Matt and I, and we were just overwhelmed by it. We couldn't believe that these people had done what they did, mm-hmm. and we were just in the process of that just happening and now we needed to tell somebody you know so we Mm -hmm. were just in that mode and i'll never forget we went over to some friend's house and it had been a couple months now and we were just talking about it talking about it and we left that we left the door of that home and we went out we were getting in our car and i just looked up at matt and i said We can never talk about that again. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Let it go. We just can't. Mm -hmm. We're we're first of all our friends are are just sucking air right now. Right. You know we've just all over them. So. Mm -hmm. And but it's it what what you had said is you expect other people to carry your baggage too. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we get so offended when we're offended Mm -hmm. and we want to share that offense with you so that you're now offended. Right. 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 And, and now we're offloading our baggage onto other people and that makes it toxic to other people because man, I have my own bag to unpack. I don't need to unpack yours too, (laughs) you know? So what do we, what do you do with even friends like that? Because I have been a friend like that. Mm. Um, Hopefully I'm getting better at that. But there is a point in time when it's like, you need to stop yeah. and you right. have to, you know, and I've been accused of, of people saying, you're not supposed to be nice to that person because of what they did to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Or you're, and so we're <laughs> yeah. now supposed to put on your glasses and look, yeah. mm-hmm. right. you know, and, and so then you're, you're offended because I'm all right with this over here and these right. people because you're a loving person. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. How do you handle relationships like that when when you're supposed to carry the luggage too, and mm. and what do you what do you? Well, I mean, do I think in, in a like loving that? way, we have to be honest with people and just. I, I want to give you a word picture because this is something that God gave me. Mm-hmm. When you've been hurt mm-hmm. and you forgive mm-hmm. and you ask God to heal you, if you think about a wound, you you start to get a scab over it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and. You're always told, don't pick the scab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But every time we talk about what somebody has done to us, mm-hmm. it's like picking the scab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so again. you can <laughs> Well, and not only that, if you pick it long enough, you'll end up with a scar. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And so right. we can't. I mean, you know, one of the. I mean, to bless, the Bible says, bless your enemies and do not curse them. Mm-hmm. And to bless means to speak well of. That's mm-hmm. right. And to curse means to speak evil of. That's mm-hmm. right. And it's so hard not 
we we want somebody to comfort us, but they really can't. Mm -mm. Right. right. Only right. God can. Only God. Right. And so you can talk to God about it right. as long as you want to, mm -hmm. as much as you want to. Right. But I think if you if you have a friend who is expecting you to dislike the people they like, mm -hmm. then you just have to be honest and say, I really don't have the energy <laughs> mm -hmm. to carry any right. hatred around. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm trying to believe the best of people. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to live according to the word of God. Amen. And I love you and I'm sorry you've been hurt, mm -hmm. but I can't be mad at somebody just because you are and I'd like to help you right. not be mad right. anymore. Good. Yeah. That's Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.